so today I'm going to be starting to talk about this. Um, so I received a quick jack. Um, so um, I purchased this. Uh, I actually purchased it from Costco. I was originally looking for one on QuickJack's website. They regularly go on, well, not on sale, but they have refurbs on there from time to time that are like half price. And it just so happened that Costco was running a, a sale that um, it was uh, $300 off. So I paid about $1,300 for this. Uh, I got a TL5000. Now, obviously, this is not the lift, and that's because FedEx still sucks. Um, so even though I had three things that were ordered and shipped by the same place that all arrived at my local distribution facility at the same time this morning, I only received one of the packages today. So let's take a look at what we received in the package. So um, I'm missing two boxes and those two boxes contain the actual jacks. Um, the model that I ordered is the PL5000, um, which is a 5,000 pound jack and it's the shorter length. They also make a TLX, which is a little bit longer length. Um, that TL5000 will fit my Honda Passport, my um, Mini Cooper, and the Mercedes-Benz. Inside the box, we have the pump with the controller attached to it. This is the 110 volt pump, so it's got the 110 volt outlets plugged into the wall. There is a thread sealant, and then there are some fittings. These are like uh, female hydraulic fittings. There are one, two three, four of those, and then these are male hydraulic fittings, and there are one, two, three, four of those, and then there are two uh, right angle fittings. Also, four three inch blocks, and this I was unclear of. I wasn't sure what was going to be included in the box, so it looks like I got four three inch bo blocks and four two inch blocks. Now they do make six inch blocks that are designed for SUVs, so I'm going to get some of those as well. Um, and they do also make wall hangers, so I'm going to get those as well. Um, but this is what is included in the basic kit. All I ordered was the, the TL5000, not a, uh, you know, not a kit with anything. Oh, to start off, um, we are going to first remove these caps, A and B. And we're going to install these in their place. So this has an O-ring on it, which means it does not require uh, Teflon tape or any sort of thread sealant. All right, so that is tight. And next, we'll put this on here. Start with the bottom one first because you're not going to be able to get the wrench on the bottom one with the top one in place. Okay, so those are nice and tight. You put these caps back on, and these are just protective caps when they're not in use, but those. Um, those valves are not supposed to leak when this isn't in use. Next, we're going to take these and we're going to install the female ends on them. So the two long hoses are each going to get um, two female ends. So we're going to put some thread sealant So these hoses are going to get one of these female connectors on each end.
So we have our two long hoses set up with our female ends on them. Thread locker installed. Now, these, the female ends connect to the actual lifts themselves, which are not here yet. So these male ends We've prepped all of our lines. All right, so we got the lifts. Uh, you can see that I've already unboxed this one. Um, I'll do the other one on camera so you can see how they're packaged. So this is how um, FedEx delivered them to my house. Late, not damaged. So they come strapped and then Inside the box, there's further strapping with the hood. And then underneath is the actual quick jack with foam. And here is our setup manual. So it appears as though the setup manual comes in box number one, which is the, um, the right side. I expect it to be with the pump. Surprised. So we'll clear this crap out of the way and start going through the setup. So to start off, we're going to remove the chipping plugs, which are right here. It's a six millimeter hex. In its place, we're going to install one of these right angle fittings. So tighten that into place. And you want to end up with this fitting facing um, backwards and up at a slight angle like that. So we'll put that right there and then we'll tighten this nut into place. And that nut is an 11 16th. The same on the other side. So we're going to connect our lines. Um, so we've got these two short lines that we put the male fittings on previously, and that's going to go through here. So keep an eye on the, the fitment there. Um, so we're going to connect this like that, but we do want to put some thread sealant on this. Do the same on the other side. So now we're going to pressurize these air cylinders. It does say that you may need to tighten the Schrader valves that are inside. We'll just do that first. We'll do the same on the other side. Okay, our cylinders are pressurized. So now we're going to take our power units and we will set it here. We're going to connect our lines.
These are just quick connects, so they just kind of push together. And then the other ends plug into the power unit. Like so. Now I will need to get some automatic transmission fluid, so that's something that you do need. Some ATF to fill this up. You can also use hydraulic oil. They give you a couple different types of transmission fluid on the box. So the ATF goes in this cap here, and they recommend that you're about a half an inch below here. So like right at your fingertip. We're gonna add our ATF. And they tell you what ATF to use in the instructions, Dextron, Mercron, several others. They also say multi-vehicle synthetic will work, which is what this is. Okay, so we're gonna put this cap on. We're going to open the breather, which is this. So what we want to do is we want to elevate the quick jacks like this. Um, I have two of the tall blocks and one of the short blocks stacked together on each side. And it's under this middle portion right here, not under the back because this moves, that does not. And what I'm supposed to do is raise and lower this eight inches three times. So let's try it. says do not hit the first lock. So that's all the way up. We're going to go down. So now the jacks are lowered. All right, so we're going to use a five millimeter Allen and we're going to loosen this up. I guess I thought it was a five. It's not a five. A three sixteenths. So let me grab a rag really quick. We're going to open this up. You'll hear air come out. And then hydraulic fluid. And we can tighten that up. All right, so now we've raised it up just a little bit. We're going to open this valve and a little bit of air is going to come out. And then once there's only fluid, we're going to let that go. All right. So now we can let this down. And it says to repeat this until no air comes out. All right, and the last thing that I want to do is I want to check my fluid level in the reservoir. And it looks like I'm a little low. So I'm going to add with this in the lowest point until This is about an inch before the hole, so I'm just going to fill it up until I can touch it with my pinky. Okay. And this calls for um, 
three quarts of fluid. Looks like it uses just over two, right around two. Um, so that's probably why they call for three. So there we are. That's all for today. We've got this all set up. Um, so my next video, I will be using it on a car. So thank you for watching and uh, have a great day.